it didn't quite go like they imagined. Have you ever seen some new gadget and thought to yourself, I should have thought of that. Somebody's going to make a fortune on that thing. But great ideas, well, everybody has them. Those bright flashes in our brains that illuminate some fantastic new concept in a new way. You know, the better mousetrap. We'll be selling them like hotcakes. Man, I need to get a patent on this. Well, some newfangled mousetraps are better than others. Novel ideas can be hard to judge in the moment. Some things seem like a good idea at the time, and then the time passes. Some folks call them vampire ideas. They seem totally genius until the light of a new day rises and they melt like a vampire in the sun. Well, here are seven examples of stellar inventions that, upon further review, didn't work out as one might have thought. Or maybe they did. Number one. This one fits nicely into the better mousetrap category. In 1882, introduced as a truly ingenious idea for getting rid of rodents, for good. It might be described as the mousetrap pistol. It was designed with a little rack that held the handgun upright with the barrel aimed at a level trajectory about a half an inch above a small levered bait holder. The theory of operation was that it was placed up close to the entrance of the den of some nasty little vermin. The critter would go after the bait, causing the lever to move, which would in turn push on the trigger of the pistol and cause the pistol to fire. Blammo, no more critter. As far as any collateral damage or cleanup, well, the user of the mousetrap pistol would have to figure that out on their own. Number two. Another of the truly awesome 19th century inventions was the group shaving machine. This was a sweet contraption that would be of enormous help to any barber with a high volume of business. With it, the proprietor of the shop could shave the faces of several people at the same time. The machine would use a brush to apply the shaving soap and finely sharpened straight razor to precisely trim the whiskers and then apply a refreshing hot towel to the patron's face. Oh, wait, um, oh, <laughs> sorry, my mistake. There's no hot towel. But as long as everyone was strapped into the machine and they wanted the exact same shave and nobody moved and everyone had a face that was shaped exactly the same, it worked great. But there were no refunds for nicks or the loss of the tip of a nose or ear but, in the unlikely event that it might be required, everyone gets a free styptic pencil and a freshly laundered rag to control the bleeding. <laughs> and uh, the suturing with an unsanitary needle and fresh horsehair was available at a nominal charge. With all that, what could possibly go wrong? Number three. And it wasn't just the 19th century where the truly incredible ideas were hatched. Oh no. In 2004, a new concept was launched by a company called Sapporo. This product made quite a splash and cashed in on the growing efforts of society to shed those unwanted pounds. What was this clearly marvelous product? Well, diet water, of course. That's right. Zero calorie water infused with special peptides engineered to help the drinker of diet water lose weight. Um, excuse me, uh, oh, okay, yeah, uh, it seems all water is zero calorie, <laughs> except for some of the really polluted stuff. Number four, another extraordinary invention, was a whole new take on those incredible pet backpacks, pet pocketbooks, and pet strollers. You know, the ones that pet parents use to take their precious companions out to get fresh air. Now... We have the ultimate accessory for the goldfish in your life. This water-filled transparent tank is mounted on wheels, making it highly mobile, and the simple way to take your goldfish for a walk around the block. Just think of how its life can be enhanced by 
being able to take in the terrestrial beauty of trees, grass, and flowers on a leisurely jaunt through the park. And I'm not sure the goldfish will remember the time you share together, or if it will survive the trauma of being jostled around outdoors. Maybe just save your money and put them in a plastic bag like the one you brought them home from the pet store in. <laughs> Number five. And now, a truly stunning invention in men's fashion. Are you one of those guys who has to dress up every day to go to work? Or are you often required to attend a highbrow social event? Well, you're going to love this one. Someone has fabricated something special just for you. It's a necktie. But with a truly unexpected second purpose. That's right. Not only will this necktie make you look great, but it's got a flask in it. A little like those Campbell bladder packs that long-distance runners use to keep themselves hydrated. Yep, this tie will carry several ounces of your favorite beverage so you can sneak a sip whenever you want. For me, I'm going with chocolate milk. But I'm sure many of you might have other ideas on what to fill your tie with. Just remember, you're going to look kind of strange sucking on the end of your necktie, so you'll need to keep it on the down low. Number six. And getting back to where we started with an astonishing firearm-related invention from the 1900s, the revolver camera. Not just a 38 caliber six-shot revolver. Colt Firearms manufactured a 38 caliber six-shot revolver with a high-quality camera. Just like any other pistol, when the trigger was pulled, the hammer fell and impacted the primer in the bullet casing, setting off the powder and propelling the 38 caliber projectile out of the barrel. Simultaneously, the camera mounted just in front of the trigger guard would snap a photo of whatever the bullet was flying toward. Maybe not such a bad idea, but it didn't sell. It certainly gives a whole new meaning to the uh, concept of shooting a picture. <laughs> and finally, number seven, We've covered six ideas and inventions that just didn't stand the test of time. Great examples of vampire ideas. They must have seemed pretty amazing at the time, but time passed and the sun rose on a new day and they just didn't hold up. This last one probably shouldn't have gotten off the ground. And we can see from the moment the idea was conceived that it was never going to go anywhere. But someone believed in it. Someone crafted it, packaged it, marketed it, and created one of the most remarkable things ever conceived in modern retail history. What was this phenomenon? The Pet Rock. <laughs> it, it was presented in its own little cardboard house with a small air hole to keep the rock healthy during shipping. And this little geologic wonder, an absolute rock star, you could underfeed it, overfeed it, give it too much water or too little. It didn't mind being out in the sun or cooped up in its house. It could be used, abused, and forgotten. And if lost, it was rather easy to replace. It was the foolproof, no fuss, no muss, never dies, and has to be buried in the backyard in a shoebox, pet. Seriously, a common little rock. Well, there are potentially many little outsized nuggets of wisdom to be uncovered here, but for now might I suggest just this one. Here's an ounce from our brief examination of some truly brilliant ideas. Sometimes you just know, you know? And other times, well, you know. But with the passage of a little time and a bit of rumination and some trial and error, well, you just never know. That's it. An ounce submitted for your consideration. An ounce would like to thank you so very much for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. And, you know, if you've taken the time to watch, why not take just a little more time and go ahead and hit that subscribe button or the like button and share it with your friends. 
as we go on this campaign to try to convince YouTube to push us out there so everybody can find us. We appreciate your help, truly. Thanks.